everyone do let me know am i audible to all and how is this weekend going on do let me know in charts because today that we are going to cover is a really important question hi chicka it's a pretty simple pretty easy and i'll tell you what you not need to do okay do let me know am i audible okay i guess we can continue i guess we can continue uh, again what we'll, we are doing is that that you already know we are running with a series 150 day series and where we'll be solving all the important topics of dsa especially on the lead code right and the questions which already have been asked in multiple companies in the same series today we have in the sub series uh, sub series arrange we have question height checker question number 8 of of what of arrange series so this question already has been asked in adobe amazon goldman sachs and google okay and now now let's continue with this question and uh, so what i'll do is that i'll share my screen and here we have our lead code we'll search for the lead code cool we will search for the lead code here i'll search for lead code So now here I'm searching for the lead code. Cool, yeah. Now I'll go to the problem section. I'll go to the problem section. Uh, waiting for lead code to respond. Okay. Cool. So here what I can do is what I can do is that I can write here height checker. Height checker. So height. check out cool yeah so now let's read the problem statement a school is trying to take an annual photo of all the students the students are asked to stand in a single file line in non decreasing order so actually you know what the thing is that a school is trying to take an annual photo you remember in our school what happened usually when we reached end of the school and the result declaration came we used to take a group photo and again the students are asked to stand in a single file line non decreasing order by height let this ordering be represented by integer array as expected you remember we were forming uh, you know the whole line a whole queue right so that some kind of arrangement is here and everybody is expected like all the taller boy will stand by back and all the shorter boy will come first so that is a scene something that is a story that is the whole part right So now, what they are asking is that let let this ordering be represented by an integer expected, which means the original, which means the actual should be the standing of the students will be represented by expected i is the expected height of the i student in the line. Okay, so means whatever will be the index that should be means whatever will be the position of the student in expected i in this expected array that will be the original position of the student. so what we have given you are given an integer array height so representing the current order that the student are standing in so what we have we have given with a you know a heights array in which student already standing each height is the height of the i student in the line return the number of indices where height means the given array is not equal to the expected which we which should actually be so this will be in a non decreasing order so like means in the ascending order so which means that we have to sort this we have to sort this that's the problem statement so once you have the sorted array look at this expected array this is the sorted array of height this is the sorted array of height okay so now we have will sort this height array and this will become expected cool yeah now now tell me what are the different indices actually in the height this is 4 in the sorted in the expected is 1 so which means one mismatch again two on the current position one again another mismatch one and third again the third mismatch third and fourth so now we have total mismatch is 3 so the output is 3 right so this is nothing it is sort of like what we have you have given a height array you have to sort this array and means you have to first the copy this array and you have to sort this array and then you will check the value on the current indexes and where the index is not matching you can have the increment something 
that would be the final output i hope it's make it makes sound right it makes sense it makes sense and actually i was waiting for very good evening prince i was waiting for all of you i don't know why people are not coming live on time are people really enjoying the series or should i stop if this is really helpful only then there is a meaning to what there is something right because anyhow on even the saturdays everybody there is nobody in office i came to office i'm st- i'm sitting here because i believe that this will really help the people in having a good career that's why i'm doing all this and because of this i'll i'll continue friends anyhow for the few people as well but actually i want a consistency like people are coming on time they're enjoying the things because anything which is you know adding some kind of contribution to your career you should be very thankful for that you should be consistent okay cool yaar cool so now 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 we'll go to the you know our slides and there will will understand by writing this whole logic how we can solve this okay so now here now here what was the problem statement that you will have provided with an array heights so heights is already given okay uh why i can't see my pen tab is not connected today i don't know why oh another glitch fine it's okay so what what has given what has given we have given heights right we have given heights so now what we have to do we have to make a copy like this height has been given right this height has been given so we have to make the copy of it we have to make the copy thank god all of you have came back because i was supposed to stop the all these things what i'm doing because i was missing everybody like only few people were here now i'm glad all, all of you are back i'm glad all of you are back cool yaar and i hope this is helping thank you gopika i'll continue but at least i want the consistency from everybody because if i'm doing something at least i want that people should get profit of it because anyhow i also need motivation to work on the days where nobody is coming to office trust me it's my you know work from home day or the leave day by tomorrow but i utilize it for the you people okay cool so now this height array has given now what what we have to do we have to find out first expected array so should i sort this height array by using a sorting algorithm by writing a sorting algorithm or should i use any predefined method that is a question actually that is a question so the thing is that you should utilize the existing method why because this question is not based on the sorting this question is based on a, a particular logic like what will be the different indices so so you so you can use a already defined method or else you will write the sorting algorithm as well it's up to you but probably i will use a already given method like arrays dot sort but before using that you cannot sort the height you need a duplicate of height you need a duplicate of height so how will you uh create a duplicate because directly you will create the duplicate that will not be a deep copy so we'll change anything in the copy array it will reflect in the heights array so what we want is that we want a duplicate so what we'll do is that we'll create another array here so let's on building int uh let's say expected they have already given the name right in the problem statement as well i'll use the same expected and uh, i'll create the size what will be the size of it the expected array it should be the equal to the height size right new height 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 sorry right not height actually a uh, new i want an array so i will have a bracket i start length this size i want right so now we have an array of n size where we can have the sorted value so first what we have to do is that we have to copy all the value of height in expected so how we can do this tell me we can have a loop here in i is equals to 0 i is less than height dot length right and again i plus plus what i'll do is that i'll copy all the value of heights array in expected array okay so at expected zero index and till continue and minus 1 i want every value of height in expected so now i'm copying all the values of heights where in expected in expected okay cool so now now here we have copied all the things now i want that the expected array should be sorted look at this expected array should be sorted only then we can make a comparison right so now the expected array will sort it using array dot sort array dot sort 
Poolier, I'll sort this with the hello arrays dot sort, and we have what we need to sort expected array. Okay, right now what we have expected is the copy of height. So now I'll write here expected. Now this will be sorted. Expected. Expected has been sorted. So now what our job is to we have to count. We have to count what? We have to count the number of mismatching indexes, right? So what we'll do is that we'll, we'll iterate the heights again. So in the i is equals to zero, i is less than height dot length. Heights dot length. Right. Now, now again i plus plus now what i want is that if if the value which is available on the height in height right at index i at heights if this is not equals to the value available in expected means in the sorted which would be the actual order when all the students are sincere right like all of you so then sincere all of you really cool yeah if it is a case hmm okay so now if this is not uh, you know equal which means the value which is in the sorted array and the students which are actually standing which means this is the reality and this is the expectation so we need to check like how many expectations are not equal so in that case what we'll do is that we will do count plus plus and this count will be the actual answer okay there is a one way one simple and pretty solution and which is fine Okay, return count. Okay, return count. So now, uh, do we have live class tomorrow? Not I mean, actually on Sunday. I'm not coming. I'm not taking a live class because I have other classes actually of other courses. So the whole day is really busy. But nobody, you have one day break where you can you know try out the other logics. You can practice the other things. The maybe the remaining lectures which you may have left. Cooler. best playlist for aptitude learning okay i'll search something then maybe the team can help you here or maybe i'll search something and i'll suggest you tomorrow tomorrow means in the monday live okay because yeah, right now i don't have a very good idea of aptitude playlist uh compilation error why 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 is this uh new actually i haven't defined a data type in the array here new int cool now run this You will have something cool. It's working fine, right? And I hope it's a pretty simple to all. It's a pretty simple to all. Okay, and it's a better solution, the best solution. And can somebody tell me what will be the time complexity of it? What will be the time complexity of it? This is taking n time. Okay, this taking n time complexity big of n. This is taking n time complexity. And what will be the time complexity? Time complexity will be n log n. Why is that? Because this arrays dot sort takes n log n. This math itself takes n log n. Okay. So now the total time complexity will be what? The sum of total TC will be what? Tell me. Total TC will be, uh, you know, big of n plus big of n n log n plus plus what big of n okay so now we consider the maximum value which is probably equals to the n log n okay big of n log n and what is the space complexity what is the space complexity space complexity will be n why because We are taking an extra array. We are taking an extra array to the size n. So now, now because of this, the space complexity SC will be what? SC will be big of n. Cooler. I hope it's clear to everybody. Means you have one heights array. You'll sort this array, and again you'll compare on same indexes like this zero index and zero index. We have value one, which is equal. Again, on one index, one index we have value equal. So now, which is fine. But on this second index and second index, value is not same, which means we will do count plus plus from here. We'll do count plus plus, right? So now, again, for two and two, it's same. Again, one and three were not same. We will do count plus plus again. Count plus plus. We have count three. So that's how the solution is working. I hope it's a pretty simple and easy to everybody. It is clear to all. Do let me know in chat. Do let me know in chat. And happy weekend. Have a 
गुड कोडिंग दे इज इज क्लियर टू ऑल और यू हैव पर्टिकुलर डाउट डो लेट मी नो इज इज क्लियर टू ऑल ओके ओके आस्था ओके सैम ओके बाय बाय टू ऑल सी ऑन मंडे एंड प्लीज कम ऑन टाइम प्लीज कम ऑन टाइम बिकॉज एट लीस्ट एनी आई ऑल्सो नीड अ मोटिवेशन टू कंटिन्यू हियर राइट टू कम ऑन द डेज वेयर नोबडी इज कमिंग टू ऑफिस सर कैन यू एक्सप्लेन द क्वेश्चन अगेन एक्चुअली प्रिंस क्वेश्चन वॉज यू हैव गिवन हाइट्स आर ए वे आर स्टूडेंट्स आर स्टैंडिंग रैंडमली and the expected standing of them should be a increasing order like you remember in our school people were of the you know the lender in height we used to stand at the behind right so that is the expected for example here the length of the students in this height one length one length four length they are standing randomly what we want is that we want to figure out like if they are standing in a sorted position then how many array will be different so now again if you will calculate the you know sorted array of this height so you will have this expected array and you need to count the differences like how many elements were on the wrong places so which mean look at this previously in the height was four and after sorting it's one so one difference look at this it, it's a one and it's three at the it's a different place right they're not same so expectation are not same than the reality that's what we need to count okay gopika okay okay all then i guess we can wrap Prince, I hope it's clear. I hope it's clear. Okay, then bye bye to all. Happy weekend. Happy weekend to all. Okay.